Hi, kindergartners. Welcome to day five. I admit it, I'm pretty excited because today we are going to take all of the skills we've been using with our long vowels and we're going to put them together. And honestly, although we're focusing on the long O this week, you could go back and do this exercise with all of the other vowels now that you're ready. Since the first day of kindergarten, usually parents are asking, when will they learn how to spell? And guess and go spelling is, it's good spelling. You need to use that to start with. But now you're ready to move forward and learn how words are actually spelled. And this is how we do it. So are you ready? We're going to start by just reading and talking about some words. I'm going to make myself big here. And then you'll need a piece of paper and a pencil or a whiteboard and a marker. You could just write on the carpet with your finger if you needed to or call out loud, but I hope you can try to actually write these down. So we know the long O says O. We know the silent E says say your name so that the O will say O instead of ah. So let's look at this and think, what do you think that says? Oak, oak, right? So what would you need to write in front of the O-K-E if you wanted to write the word joke? You would need the letter that says J. What letter would that be? Joke, right? You'd need the J so you could say joke. What if we wanted to write the word woke? What letter would you need? You'd need the word W and we would have the word woke. Starting to see why these rhyming words can be so important. Let's take this set, this rhyme, O-P-E says, ope. What if I wanted to write the word hope? What letter would I need? Yeah, the H and you could write hope. You could read and write the word hope. And what if I wanted to change it to rope? What letter would I need? You'd need the R. So we have rope. All right, couple more warm up sets before you actually do some writing. O T E says oat. But I want it to say vote. What letter will you need to write? The V for vote. You can do this. And if you want to write a note, what letter will you need? You'll need the N, note. One more warm-up set and then we'll actually write some words. The words we're writing may or may not be these words we're practicing. You'll have to really use your tools to figure it out. What does that say? Ohm. You want it to say dome. A big curved lid. D, 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 D says dome. Well done. And our last one, we're all staying home. So what letter will you add? H, H for home. Okay, your brain should be good and ready. I'm going to give you six words. I want you to see if you can write them by yourself. If you need to pause after I say the word, pause, and then unpause so I can show you if you were correct. Let's start with a really fun word. The first word you are going to write is joke. And that word is spelled J-O-K-E, J-O-K, joke. Let's try a rhyming word for our second one. It'll make it easy, woke. That word is W-O-K-E, woke. I hope you're as excited as I am. I just love the idea that by knowing a few letters, you can write all the words. All right, this one is bone. How will you spell bone? B-O-N-E, bone. I'll give you another rhyming word. We haven't used this one very much. Loan. <clears throat> when you are all by yourself, you are alone. 
somebody who goes around alone a lot is a loner, kind of a lone wolf. Lone, L-O-N-E. Hope you're doing all right. These are our last two words for your first spelling test. The first one is, the next word is whole. Did you figure it out? H-O-L-E, whole. And our last one, we read a silly story about one of these creatures, mole. M. O-L-E. Well, boys and girls, hopefully a lot of pieces of learning came together in your mind this week as we focus on the long O sound. I'll see you next week for more fun with phonics. Thank you.